Today we're going to talk about the atmospheric pressure. So the scientist Torcelli, he actually managed to calculate the value of the atmospheric pressure. And the way he did that is very simple and easy to understand. So what he did is, he um, wrote a, um, let's say, a baker, and he filled it with mercury. So this is mercury. And then he puts an inverted uh, test tube like that. And he left it floating on the surface of mercury. What he found is that the level of mercury inside the tube raised to a certain point. And it's to be noted that the length of this part is one meter. So, he measured the length or the height of mercury in the tube. He found out that that was at the point of 76 centimeters or 0 0.76 meters. Therefore, the value of the vacuum will be 34 or uh, 24 centimeters. This vacuum is called the Torcelli vacuum. The Torcelli vacuum. He wanted to make sure that the height of mercury will uh, be the same if he tilted the tube and he actually did that and he found out that the height was the same. So the mercury actually raised to the same point too and that was the vacuum. So he came to the conclusion that um, now I want to calculate the atmospheric pressure. So simply the pressure at that point is equal to the pressure at that point is equal to the pressure at that point because they are all at the same surface of the liquid. And uh, then the weight of the mercury column um, will be the pressure that's uh, occurring or happening at that point or that point or that point. So, as the pressure equals rho g h, the density multiplied by the gravity multiplied by the height, then as the density of mercury equals about uh, 13,600 kilograms per cubic meter, multiplied by the gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second square, multiplied by the height here, which is 0 0.76 um, meters, he got the value of 1.013 multiplied by 10 of power 5 newtons per square meter. So we can define the atmospheric pressure as the pressure um, exerted by the atmospheric air, the column of an atmospheric air, with a cross-sectional area of 1 cubic meter at 0 degrees Celsius, so this is a very important condition, above the sea level. So, simply that's how Torcelli managed to calculate the atmospheric pressure. I hope it was clear for you, and until the next time, I thank you for watching, and see you.